All right, shalom and good afternoon, Boaz here. Well, it's a beautiful day on the land. It was raining earlier, but now the sun is out, and I was able to do some running for the land. But as you see, as we look at the garden, things are coming in very, very nicely. We got the Carrots coming in. We got Swiss chard. We got all of the peppers and tomato plants planted. We got the collards. We got the kale. We got some more Swiss chard. Eggplants going in there. We got the lettuce. I planted some cucumbers of course we got the lettuce we got the various mints coming in we got more broccoli coming in so yeah I mean it's just looking good I mean truly truly the harvest is plenty. I mean, we got so much food, we don't we know what to do with it. I'm going to be feeding some of this stuff to the sheep. Oh, look at that broccoli. I mean, it's looking nice and healthy, nice and big. I mean, look at this broccoli big. I mean, it's over probably about 100 broccoli plants in this bed that I got. And what I like about this close quarter kind of planning is that it eliminates the need for any weeding. Uh, watering is nice and healthy. Oh, got some berries coming in. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. We got our bean plants and our corn. So I got to plant these. I got to plant some zucchini. I got to plant some Swiss chard. No, not Swiss chard. This is our okra plants. I created a little raised bed here because okra grows very large. So I'm going to be putting that in. But, you know, everything is in full swing. And, you know, it's interesting. The more and more I say the harvest is plenty, but the labor is a few. I've been running into, you know, some fellow carpenters that I know inside town, as well as a, a seamstress, because uh, I had to bring one of my jeans in to be altered. And I was saying, wow, you know what I mean? You know, you're extremely busy. And she said, yeah. Um, we're all backed up when I was speaking to the seamstress, uh, the painter in town. He was talking about how he can't find any good help. And it's, it's the same situation across the board. I mean, time and time again, it's, this is just not a me issue. This is an issue of people that are just not willing to work. Because I say over and over again, you know, again, the harvest is plenty, but the labor is a few. And by their fruit, you shall know that there's a lot of people that's talking to talk, but there's few people that's actually walking the walk. And uh, I'm going to be going live, doing some videos, you know, just talking a lot about Kevin Samuels and, you know, a lot of what the uh, Black Monosphere has been talking about because they're just truly on fire. They have blown up because, you know, men today have been silenced. They've been silenced by women. They've been silenced by other men. And it's a damn shame. Uh, because, you know, silence is a form of consent. And so, you know, when you are in a situation where you are producing, you know, these are the kind of brothers, the brothers that are out there that are actually getting it done. Not the brothers that's talking to talk, but the actual brothers that's actually getting done and is walking the walk. Uh, one of the things that I did was uh, put the roses on a pedestal. And so now... You know, all of the plants are on a pedestal. And it looks good like that. The reason why we put the 
fence around the plants is because the chickens are constantly getting in there. And I gotta, we gotta cordon on off this, but we got the tomato plants growing in here. But you know, back to what I was saying. You know, the idea is that you know you got a lot of people talking to talk, but there's few people that's walking to walk. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it is just nothing like walking outside in the morning time and just seeing what we see. I mean, it is just absolutely beautiful out here in the flock. We move to the back. We have our peach trees growing. We got the apple trees. That's an apple tree. And I planted all these trees. Uh, this is a peach tree. This is an apple tree. That's another peach tree. And then the pear trees is in the back. And it's another apple tree over there. But yeah, uh, these uh, trees were planted by me when we first got here on the land. If you're going to move on some land, plant your trees first. That's one of the first things that you need to be doing is getting your fruit trees in the ground. Because now this man, this is, this is tall. And this is big. Nice and sturdy. And again, I planted it. So now we're going to have some fruit coming in. That's just a beautiful thing. But again, you know, we need to see more brothers talking and producing and sharing how it's done, how it's created. Because we need more living examples. I mean, we got so many pookies and ray rays out there. It ain't funny. But, you know, again, like uh, Kevin was talking about is that, you know, we have not controlled the image of the black man uh, in this country or the so-called Hebrew man in this country. We've allowed uh, uh, media to do it. And uh, what has happened is that, you know, these men, they've gone out and perpetuated this image. Uh, and it's a sad thing. But... Uh, it starts with you, it starts with me, and that's what we're going to do. So, you know, the name of the game is about production, it's about bearing fruit, it's about the increase, it's about being blessed through the labor of your hands, uh, and it's about showing the living example, because we need the living example in today's society. We just don't have enough of the living example where... We can encourage the younger generation because if the younger, younger generation, all if, if all they see is a whole bunch of pookies and ray rays, then that's what they're going to emulate. That's what they're going to go towards. Uh, but if they see young, sharp, uh, uh, as well as older, sharp men uh, that are encouraging the younger generations to get out there and get it done, then, hey, you know, we have a fighting chance. But, you know, it's nothing like going in your garden and, you know. Picking some strawberries, we'll throw sort of one right there, mm. and go ahead and just you know, mm. just enjoying it, just enjoying it. This is what it's all about, right here. Plant it with seed, nice heirloom seeds, growing on the land, and look at that increase. I mean, it is just absolutely phenomenal to sit here and see this garden grow year after year. And uh, literally, our freezers are packed. We got to sell it. We got to sell it because, you know, there's not enough room for us uh, to even store it. So we're going to continue on getting on and getting on. You guys and gals out there, you stay blessed and look for the living example. Because again, by their fruit, you shall know them. Shalom.